Hello guys, welcome to Code Vedanam. Today we will see how we can use bottom navigation view, which is a component of material library. Without wasting much time, let's go for coding now. Okay, so we have four icons in our drawable folder. I see home, person, search, and settings. So first you have to uh, move all the icons in the drawable folder and uh, now click on the resource folder go to new and uh, we have to create an android resource file so click on this now name the file I am giving name as nav menu and a resource type to menu now just press ok now go to split view and uh, add a item item give a id first item is home now give a title home and uh, now set the icon icon and uh, ic underscore home okay. so in the same way add all the other items id search title search Icon search icon. Now give ID setting and the title setting. And the icon setting. Now add the last item ID person a profile and title profile and icon is IC underscore person. So we have created the menu resource file. Now go to activity main.xml and uh, add a bottom navigation view here. Bottom navigation view. Okay. This is an part of material library. Uh, width is match parent and height will be wrap content. And now assign the menu which we have created. So name menu. constrained it at the bottom I left and right constraint now add in text view where we will uh, show the text that uh, which item is selected so text view text so now by default it is home and uh, text size 36SP and text color purple 500 okay. now constraint it in the center uh, give it a id first as title now constraint it Just go to main activity.java file. Now create a reference for the bottom navigation view and the text view. 
text view title title and uh, bottom navigation view now find both their views so title equal to find view by id r dot id dot title and uh, bottom navigation view equal to find view by id r dot id dot bottom navigation view now we will see how we can handle uh, clicks on any item so bottom navigation view dot set or item selected listener and then new on item selected listener press enter so add a switch here item dot get item id uh, convert it to lambda notation so here we change it to true as we have handled this click event so, uh, Suppose if you want to assign different fragments in uh, any item click so you can use this switch case statement where you will check which item is selected so for checking we will use the id and if id is home it means that the home item is selected and you can perform the uh, respective task okay then we can use break and uh, in the same way we can uh, check clicks for other items other items set text and uh, search okay so for this case we just want that uh, uh, whatever item selected we will just show the text or uh, title of the item to the text view so we actually don't need all these things we can uh, minimize this all into a simple statement or uh, expression so we will set text title dot set text and uh, item dot get title get title and uh, change it to string so let's comment it Now we can run our app. So let me start the AVD. And the cradle build is running. Okay, so here it is. Now choose another item and uh, you can see uh, whatever item we have selected appropriate text is showing in the text view. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Visit our blog. This is the URL codevedanam.blogspot.com and if you learn something new from this video please hit the like button and subscribe to code vedanam for further new videos thank you